Okay, folks, here's where we're at on the steam engine. We've got most of the rock done, not all. Uh, I've got the engine sitting on, just got it primed and got it sitting there. Everything, all the bolts lined up. That was our, our main concern to check that. Now we're going to pick it up and get the grout done, get it set back down and continue working on rock and more parts, getting more parts cleaned up and ready to, to go together and all that good stuff. So moving along all right folks sore and hurting uh don't know why guess i'm just getting old but here's what we've got uh we've got some more rock to do on this side on this end and then we've got most of this done and grouted most of that's done and grouted this is done but not grouted and I've got part of this done. So the plan is to finish this and to finish this up on this side. And that is going to leave this entire side and the front side up there, which has got to be scratch coated anyway. So it's not a big deal. So if I can get that done today, I can start trying to clean some of this up and make it look a little better I've got a great big piece of slate I'm gonna put here uh, we're gonna go ahead and start trying to get things cleaned up and maybe start getting the uh, flywheel in the pit uh, we're gonna put the bottom half in and then we'll have to set the uh, crankshaft and get it lined up get the outboard bearing lined up uh, the big deal first of course is to get the engine grouted down and get it tightened down and bolted down because it needs to be permanent where it's at so we'll get that done and just keep at it uh got a little bit more grout work to do on these rocks this is the first time i've ever done stone work and it is time consuming and i'm not much of a glove wearer but you don't have a much of a choice on this you know you about have to wear gloves so got about half a thing left so I've got plenty left uh, we're gonna have enough to finish completely and have some left over and uh, these flagstone uh, I could get it local here for 350 or I could travel up the road 40 miles and get it for 220 so of course I chose to grab the 220 uh, price so anyway it's looking good or it's looking good to me I'm liking it so I'm hoping that we can get this cleaned up out here this is a it, it looks terrible, but uh, I've got gravel yet to put down, uh, crush and run, but it, you know, really it needs to be the last thing. We've got planks and bricks up and stuff here, so it's easy to make a mess when you don't work, but uh, but it's coming right along. No, right now. So then it's coming to inspect the, the rocks here, and this is taking more time than I wanted, but I uh, kind of figured it would, you know, just time-consuming work it really is and uh, especially for somebody that's never done it before and you know we're trying to get a straight edge on top of it and you know to the best of our ability and the same way within there is to get it straight so some of them we're able to use and some of them I have to cut but uh, but it's coming along it's coming out it's gonna work all right now I've still got to do the some cleaning on these and then uh, we'll have to seal them so it should bring them out a little bit make them you know look a little bit better make them pop i guess you can say uh i don't have the water hose on or i'd show you now but you know once you spray these you know it brings out the color a lot better and color collar i say collar my wife says color so anyway all right here we go let's get at it All right, hopefully we get the mortar cleaned down and get them sealed. They look a little better. What we want it to look like anyway. All right. All right, folks. Got me an old hitching post here. So uh, we're going to set this up in front of the uh, Western Union Station. So when people ride their horses, they'll have something to tie off to. So uh, when they want to send a uh, telegraph. 
Alright, so all the rock on this side, this, I've got this end to do right here, some grouting. Uh, I got all of it done in here, inside, outside. And let me see, I got this end done to the best of my ability. And this end's done. I'm going to do a little more work on it. It's not perfect, you know, by any means, but, you know, it's all natural rock. I mean, that's nothing fake there anyway. Uh, all right, so the plan is to do something with that end and this end, and I don't know what we're going to do yet, but we're going to figure that out. And then uh, once that's done, we can go ahead and get start getting some gravel back up around this thing. And like I said, I have not got this in for this side down or the other end with the rock. I've still got almost half a pound of the rock, so we're good with that. Uh, as you can see, I did get the... Uh, okay, so I did get that coat on, and then uh, that'll have to dry for about two days before we start doing the rock. But uh, we get the flywheel out and getting ready to get started on it and the crankshaft getting them cleaned up and all that good stuff got a lot more to do on this still got to grout it and we'll get it grouted and get it set down and get that finished up and then uh we'll go from there but uh i'm going to try to find some rocks to put here in a big rock we'll see what it looks like all right all right so uh i finished up one side with that big piece of slate Got some gravel in there. I'd rather have regular gravel than crush and run, but it really don't matter. It's not going to be long when we have a roof over it. I've got another big rock we're going to put on this side. And then I'll probably do a little concrete work on the corners or the edges there. But it's done. It's looking good. All the rock's done, like I said, except the other side and the, front, and the, the back, I guess. Uh, so there you go. Alright, so anyway, rainstorm coming. Let me try to get everything finished up here, cleaned up and uh, covered up and all that good stuff. All right. Appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye. Say bye, Vic. Bye, Vic.